Today we learn how you can make your own live digital dictionary with the help of Python. So as a prerequisite, you need the module as Py Dictionary, and I'm going to leave the command line code for installing that in the description below. So let us first import our required module. So that's how the import is going to be from Py Dictionary. Import the Py Dictionary class function. All right. Now you're going to initialize the Py Dictionary function. So you're going to say, and you're going to invoke or call the class of that. All right. Now suppose I want to get the meaning of this word. So how can I do it? I have to say print dictionary dot meaning and i'm going to supply my word all right now let me run the program so as you can see the moment i run this it gives me the entire bio data of the word so it shows me that it's a noun it gives me the meaning of the word that means the difference between the market value and all that financial meaning and then it also tells me how is it used etc suppose i want to get the antonym so i can say print dictionary dot synonym or antonym and i can supply the word as the parameter inside the function all, all right you can even translate any given word or sentence to any language you want. Suppose I say dot translate and I give my word as the parameter and I want to give the which language I want to translate to the short form of that language. So you can find the short form from the internet for the languages to be used in the convention. So here we are going to pass fr representing French language. All right. So as you can see, when I run the program, it gives me the French version of the word equity. I don't know how to read it, but that's how it prints out. So similarly in this way you can use a dictionary module to make a GUI application perhaps you can enter the word it will give you the meanings you can get the antonyms synonyms translate it to any other languages and all of that amazing stuff you, you can even make the program to read the meanings or take voice inputs as i had already thought in some of my previous project videos so make sure to check out the previous project videos so that you learn how can you do that stuff as well and then you can add that amazing functionality in your program if you found this channel and this video interesting and helpful then make sure to subscribe like and share until then bye and have a good day